Okay, so today's project is to get better internet reception in the upstairs TV room. Let me show you our current setup. I'll bring up Airport Utility. And here you can see we connected the uh, internet via cable modem. The Airport Extreme downstairs is connected Cat5 into the cable modem. This Airport Extreme creates a normal 2.4 gigahertz wireless network that I've called ZombieNet. In addition, I am creating a 5 gigahertz wireless network, as you can see, called ZombieNet 5 gigahertz. Downstairs, in the living room, I have an older Airport Express that's uh, hooked up into our downstairs stereo. This allows me to stream music uh, via iTunes or any of our iPads or iPhones so that we can play them uh, on the stereo. This Airport Express extends the ZombieNet 5 gigahertz network. Upstairs in the TV room, I have a newer Airport Express. It also extends the wireless network of ZombieNet 5 gigahertz. In the TV room, we have an Apple TV, a Wii U, an Xbox 360, and a PlayStation 4. They're all hooked up to the internet via the ZombieNet 5 gigahertz network. Here's a photo of our PlayStation 4 connection via wireless network. As you can see, it's uh, connected on the wireless ZombieNet 5 gigahertz network. The connection download speed is 1.6 while the upload is 1.9. To help with my connectivity issues, I have purchased this Linksys Powerline 4-port wired network expansion kit. Not too long ago, the best way to get an internet connection was to run physical Cat5 Ethernet cable into each room of your house. As wireless network technology got better, you no longer needed to drop Cat5 cable into every room in your house. It was much easier to just use a wireless network. But as you saw earlier, even though we can connect wirelessly upstairs in the TV room, the upload and download speeds on the PlayStation 4 are very low. Okay, I have unboxed the Linksys network adapters. This one on the right is the PLE 400. It has one port on it. I will be putting that uh, into an electric socket next to my router and then connecting it with a Cat5 cable into my router. The PLS 400 has four Ethernet ports that will go upstairs in the TV room. It will uh, plug into an electric socket, and then in these four ports, I'll put in the PlayStation 4, the Xbox 360, the Airport Express, and since I have a fourth port left over, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Apple TV. Really don't use the Wii U that much anymore, so. Uh, I'm okay with leaving that on the wireless network. I've installed both adapters, the single port to my router and the four port upstairs in the TV room to the four devices. Here's the PS4 prior with wireless, and here it is now wired with 13 down and 2.3 up. The Xbox wireless was terrible, but you can see now it's almost 10 down and 4 up. The Apple TV was the easiest to set up. The moment I connected the Cat5 cable from the adapter into the Apple TV, it automatically set up the network. Okay, now that all the devices upstairs are working uh, correctly, I now have to reconfigure the Airport Express that's located in the TV room. From this screen grab, you can see that uh, both Airport Expresses are hooked up wirelessly. Uh, you can see that via the dashed lines connecting the Airport Expresses to the uh, Airport Extreme. I am now going to have to configure the Airport Express in the TV room uh, from extending the ZombieNet 5 GHz network to creating a roaming network. I'm going to use this page from Apple to do these things. One thing I'd like to point out is when I first tried to reset the Airport Express in the TV room, I left it hooked up uh, Cat5 to the Linksys adapter and when it tried to restart itself, it got all confused. So I brought it downstairs, hooked it directly into the Airport Extreme, 
and did all the configurations. It restarted up and looked good. And then I brought it back upstairs, hooked it up to the Linksys adapter, and everything worked fine. So now, let's bring up the airport utility, and you can see the changes that I made. Here's the uh, airport utility. Again, their cable modem, internet, zombie airport extremes the same. The zombie airport living room is still extending the network uh, wirelessly. And now you can see the zombie airport express in the TV room is hardwired via the Linksys adapter. I have now made the following changes. Under wireless, I am now creating a wireless network. Okay, I'm using the exact same 2.4 gigahertz name and password for ZombieNet. And then also for the 5 gigahertz, I'm using the exact same name for the ZombieNet 5 gigahertz network. The only other thing that you need to change is that you change the router mode, which is normally in DHCP and NAT, to off bridge mode. And that's it. Now everything's working fine, and when you uh, wander around through the house, whether you're going upstairs or downstairs, uh, there is seamless uh, integration between the wireless networks. I hope this tutorial helped everyone. Have a great day.